I think that over the course of my career, I've worked with entrepreneurs in the investment banking setting, um, in the venture capital setting, and I'd watched them build companies. And as someone who sort of looked in from the outside, I came to the understanding that it was more exciting probably to build companies and that I could probably do this too, which is what made me want to go to HBS. I think when I started to see that Pixamo, my first startup, um, was getting traction at HBS, um, which is where I sort of seeded it, that kind of gave me the comfort and the clarity that I needed to move forward with it as a business. I think I was one of the only people in my class to start a company while I was at HBS, and I went on to sell that six months after graduation. And um, following that experience, I decided to start my second company, which is called Hit Bliss, and that does real-time targeted advertising um, in the video space so that consumers who are watching TV can pick when they watch, how they watch, and what ads they watch. Many students feel that they need a background in a particular industry in order to go ahead and pursue an idea. And I think what I've done over the course of my career as an entrepreneur is I've not necessarily stuck to any one industry. And sometimes you're better off not having a background in these particular areas or industries because you can be more disruptive and you can make a bigger impact with your company. And I've done that with both Pixamo and Hitbliss. I think it's important that, you know, as an entrepreneur or someone who's pursuing an entrepreneurial idea, that you really understand what it is about the idea that makes you tick, that makes you want to do it day in and day out. And um, if you can do that, you can get access to the right people within the industries that you need in order to, to, to make a difference.